Now let's take a look at a couple of really cool things that you can do with images in Keynote. It's masking and alpha channel. When I first talk about masking, masking allows you to mask out part of the photo. So you only want to have a certain part of the photo. Well, you can do that if you mask out the rest. Pretty easy to do. Let's say I only wanted to have the flowers on this photo. I don't want to have this outside area here. All I have to do is I just click on it and up here at the top I have mask. And now you can see it makes what I call a virtual window into your photograph. So you're only going to see a portion of your photograph. And what I can do is I can move this around to the part of the photograph that I want to see. And then when I'm done, just click outside and now you can see it is just the flower. If I want to edit the mask again, just click on it. You're going to see Edit Mask pop up because there's already a mask on it. Click on Edit and I can actually go in here and let's say I wanted to make this a little bit larger, the frame larger. So now my window to the photo is larger and smaller. I can also make the photo larger and smaller. So let's say the frame is the right size, but I want to include more in that window, in that frame. So now when I click on the image, you're going to see these white squares or handles here. Just drag it down and now you can see I have just the flowers in that photo. So that's masking. Works great if you have a photograph that you only want to show part of the photograph. You want to zoom in on it or crop into that photo. You don't want to see everything in that photo. All you have to do is just create a mask and move the photo around and then you're going to see what you want to see in that photo. Alpha channels. Alpha channels are really, really cool and extremely powerful. So let's go and show you how alpha channels work in Keynote. So I have this tulip here. Basically, it's just a copy of this one that's on the left of the Tulip Time Festival word. Right? I want to get rid of the windmill. All I want to do is I just want to have the red tulip, not the blue windmill. Well, how would I do that? Normally, I'd have to go into Photoshop and crop it and erase things. Well, not with alpha channels. I'm going to zoom in. It makes it a lot easier when you zoom in. So I'm just going to go to 200%. Whoops. And go to my tulip here. Let's go a little bit larger. Let's go to 300. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the logo, and then I'm going to click on alpha. And you're going to see a little message down here. It says, click the color that you want to make transparent. Basically, that's what you're doing is you're making colors transparent. As you drag, the selection will grow. And when you're done, hit return. And you can drag multiple times to get rid of multiple areas. Let's see what happens when I do that. So I want to get rid of the blue, right? So when I click on the blue, you can see it disappears. Click on the blue over here. Now it disappears. If I were to hit return, you're going to see it's gone. Now I still have some remnants here and I still have it down here, so let's go and finish this up. So I'm going to go to Alpha and click on the blue here, click on the blue here. If I drag it, you're going to see a little circle there get bigger. I can get actually more stuff with that. And we got this blue up here. You can see why it's good to blow it up. I could actually go to 400% for this. And I want to get rid of this here and this here, and we'll just drag it like that. And I'm just clicking on the blue. Now, if you have a photo that has a lot of different colors in it, this would be very, very difficult. That's why it's great for logos where you don't have a lot of colors in it, such as this and get rid of that there get a little bit down here and a little bit over here now when I hit return that windmill is going to be gone I got a few more remnants here got this one here I got this down here right here so I'm just kind of clicking where I want the colors to be gone and hit return that background is gone now 
when I go down to my 100%, you can see that windmill is completely gone. So that's what alpha channel is. Basically, all you do is just click on the color that you want to disappear or become transparent. It doesn't actually erase it, it just makes it transparent. Now I could have done the opposite. Maybe I wanted to have the windmill there and make the red tulip disappear. I could do that as well. So that is masking and alpha channels. As you can see, they're both very powerful tools that you have.